Cyberpunk, once again, is a game that I, I hope looks great. I hope it's going to be really cool when it comes out. The bit that I saw uh, behind the scenes didn't really impress me too much. But I just hope it comes out and everyone fucking loves it and it's awesome and it's great and everyone's playing it in different ways and all this shit. Uh, I genuinely hope that's the case. Damn, this is also running at 30 FPS. Okay. Hello and welcome to this, the very first episode of Night City Wire, a brand new series from us at CD Projekt Red, where we'll be talking about all things cyberpunk. Hype your ass up until sep for today's Actually, episode, is this coming on September we'll anymore? With a brand new trailer. Isn't it end of One year? Of it's like November now, right? Us. Funny enough, they said it was like November 19th or something like that. Like November 17th. Conveniently, right around the time frame next gen is going to happen. Very, very, very high chance that PS5 is going to be launching right around November 17th, considering what is happening with this game. Media all over the world have been getting hands on with Cyberpunk 2077. And when this, this looks really good, holy shit. Check out exactly what they this looks fantastic. So, wow. Just from that little bit, it looked great. Ooh, yellow. <laughs> Of this town, the city of endless opportunity. Okay. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on. City like any other, just bigger. No, mano, not just any other city. Legends are born here. The major leagues. We're only here because Dex is pulling the strings. Doubt that puts us in the same league as them. But we are. They just don't know it yet. But if you got the cojones and you know how to use them, you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a bull. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? You know, you can make heaps more eddies as a motivational speaker. Yo, Mr. V. Slap you in the throat. A pleasure. So what's the game, Dex? Jesus! Come out in one piece? <laughs> <laughs> How about we go over the plan? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. We are robbing some heavy hitters. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Cutting, baby. Goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, Looks no really bodies, good. not a one. Sounds simple enough. Lead, Is it gonna be dangerous? Don't you worry, my boy. We're bulletproof. Get your ass moving now! What the fuck just happened in there? Can't stop digging night city. Fucking major leaks. Happy now, Jackie? Yep, I fucking hide! Time to bail! Oh my god, we're so fucked. Okay, very cinematic. Really hope there's like a demonstration. Game is could be. And you, who are you? Uh! Fuck. <laughs> of course, they threw in a little bit, a little bit of Keanu. City built of six completely unique districts, surrounded by the seventh one that we call the Badlands. As a player, fucking you Mad are Max shit over here. Jackie, Jackie's your friend. Now, they together. Are trying this to looks really good. Oh, there's the motion blur, but it looks really good. Some to be able to gather money, to be able to modify their bodies, wow. push themselves Fuck. To, limits, to put their hands on. Fuck. But uh, environments look insane. What, okay, so the best. You know why this game gives you an Akira vibe? You don't think Neo Tokyo was a huge inspiration for the aesthetic in this game? I mean, there's a good reason you're getting a huge Akira vibe from this because it's definitely Akira influence. Akira and Blade Runner, yeah. It's just a little bit. And as a player, you'll be able to traverse that. Sp I saw Poppin. I saw Poppin is actual gameplay. Your car on motorcycle. This is a space that is inhabited by the nomads. Nomads are living in a different families and are traveling across that space. Yeah, you can actually see all the LODs popping in. There is just one more thing we want to announce. Something that we've been working on in secret for a while. Geralt just walks in. <laughs> Portals are crazy. Where the hell am I? Our partnership with Studio Oh, they're Trigger anime. That's Netflix. right. Cool. That looks awesome. Can this be like the modern day Akira? Fuck. Funny note. Uh, for anyone that's familiar with the the intro to the show and the Namco X Capcom games, Studio Trigger actually did that animation. All the Strider and like Mega Man and all the Bandai Namco characters, Namco characters and Sega characters and Capcom characters all working together and blowing shit up and stuff, they're the ones that actually did that. Like the incredibly high energy shit. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. 
Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Look, a character made just for Kenny. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. Wait, what's the point? <laughs> uh, you're able to. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Some like detective shit. So as Pavel was saying, we use Brain Dance as a storytelling tool. It's not a so yeah. It'll probably be used to progress the story every once in a while. Play it, and you're going to be like, I've seen. This and a bunch before. of side quests what we will use have you Brain doing Dance it. For is to give you a key gameplay variety of the residents of Night City. And you got driving, things like you got shooting, trauma, you got traversal, religion, you got Brain Dance. You know things like that. In a way I get it. That, and then you know, I kept on uh, basically noting things that we've been working on um, for like next years. I remember once when our concept artist actually approached me. Why can't we read it? <laughs> I want to take a look at my notebook. I was like, what for actually? And they, they, they took this notebook pictures, is a fucking prop. Uh, and they told me, uh, yeah, well, you know, because we are looking for a reference material for a, a notes of a psychopathic killer. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, well, uh, you may. It looks um, way too much like a prop. I would love to think Pavel that that's Patrick, real. Thank you so but like much for the water me. stain on it and everything, the water stain, I was like, you. it's in and Polish. But it looks too much like a prop, right? <laughs> the water stain was kind of like, really? You dropped water on it? Cyberpunk 2077. And they should be posting their impressions, right? It looks like too real. One person, two bodies. My bodies do everything together. Everything. This is hurting my brain. <laughs> Shouldn't the other guy be going, ouch, 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 the other dude. The fast attack, strong attack, block, double tap, dodge. I really, I really wish some of these, these gameplay demonstrations were actually running in 60. Somebody shot me some information Electric about this game, company. about the customization you options. Said it was nothing serious when I As in, this is going to be a thing that's going to sell you on Cyberpunk. They were like, you could adjust all this stuff, and somebody shot it to me and Simmons, and they're like, you could change your pubic hairstyle in the game. I'm like, why the fuck do you think that's going to get me to buy the game? But I can change my balls. What? Why do you think I give a shit? <laughs> We need to figure out the heart, the, the root of the problem here. Why do you think I give a shit about that? Did anyone ask your opinion? <laughs> Wait, what? I missed that. Hold on a second. Select quick hacks to use. Detonate grenade, comms, overheat, ping, weapon malfunction, breach protocol. Oh man, he literally lights them on fire through hacking. It's a matter of time, motherfucker. Damn. Whoa. You can lean out of your car. Cool. Is your car driving for you? Pretty badass. Take the wheel, and then you lean out of your fucking car. Gameplay-wise, I think it still looks kind of similar to what I saw in last year's demo. Reminds me a bit of like Fallout, right? So this Just in general, like the the basic combat is a little Fallouty, but it looks it looks more polished. It looks better. It looks visually more interesting. Uh, it is. It really depends on what you do in between all these missions, from like sequence to sequence. Yeah, I mean. It looks good. Uh, I, I definitely want to try it more than I did from the original gameplay demonstration that I saw. It feels like it has potential. It feels like a big part of the game is going to be like the choices you make, your character progression with those choices in the story, finding the different ways that it takes you from one point to the other, the relationships with characters. I'm assuming that's a big part of The Witcher as well. But yeah, if this is all just the beginning of the game, you know, that's cool. I don't think I'm like insanely super hyped about it, but uh... At least where I'm sitting right now, I want to play it more than I did before.